All right, today we're gonna to be installing a uh, threshold across these two um, floors. You can kind of see this is a little, uh, it's a floating floor so it's not down all the way and you don't want someone walking across and uh, stubbing their toe or tripping on it or, or kicking it and pulling it all apart. So we're gonna put down this, uh, this transition molding, threshold molding. It's pretty simple. Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's sells it. The uh, hard part is getting into the cement floor because this is a lower level, it's concrete. So uh, what we're gonna do is um, drill up, use a masonry bit like this and uh, drill in some basically pilot holes. This is what we're using. Um, it's a Tapcon, pretty standard at uh, Lowe's. We're gonna uh, use that to drill the hole and then we're gonna use these anchors and we're gonna um, put a screw through them and I found that's the best way um, I actually originally started with let me see if I can pull them out here I originally started with the official um, official concrete screws or masonry screws these are used to go into concrete but I found the problem was the head of them the head on them is proud of the uh, threshold and then someone's gonna stub their toe or rip their toe apart. So we're not gonna use that. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, system I developed. I'm sure other people have used it too, but uh, I did a few trial and errors with some other fasteners and I found that the uh, plastic insert expander works uh, really good in concrete. You get a good hold. So uh, let me show you how it's done. Well, first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, Look at your uh, your spacing here. And like I said, this is a floating floor. So if someone walked by and kicked it up, it would come all undone or somebody could, you know, cut their foot open on this. So I already uh, pre-cut my, um, my metal piece. I used a hacksaw, very easy to do. Um, just measured the distance from here over and I used a hacksaw. And uh, quite honestly, uh, a little advice here is doesn't need to be exactly perfect because I'm going to tell you if you're a little short so you can see there's a tiny gap there if you're a little short it's really hard to cut that little bit of extra uh, piece of metal off so it's better or sorry if you're a little long it's hard to cut that little piece of metal off so you in this case you actually want to be slightly short and as you can see here it still looks good I mean you could always throw some type of caulk in there or something but better to be a little short than a little, a little bit long. Next thing you want to do, and I already did this, is line it up so it's covering both, um, both surfaces with enough meat on each side. And then you're going to want to take a pencil or marker and mark each hole. And then you're going to come back. I'm going to remove it. There's my marking. It's kind of hard to see. Um, then you're going to take it and uh, drill it out drill them all out and then after you do that obviously you want to clean any scum or muck in there and then uh, I'll show you how to do the fastener part. Okay that should be deep enough. Um, I can do a dry fit later, measure it off the, measure it off how far the bit goes into the hole. And then I'm gonna tap these in after I get all the holes done. Okay, so I got my holes drilled. As you can see, I'm gonna go and um, just kind of clean, clean things off a bit here. Just so we don't have any junk. I mean, when you got the opportunity to make something a little cleaner, just do it when you got the chance. You also want to get any debris out there so it's not sitting in the hole. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, take my inserts, and put them in the hole. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, sometimes you can use uh, a lubricant too if it's a little sticky in the hole. Okay, so I got my screw set in there. It's going into the... Uh, the metal insert or the plastic insert. 
I'm gonna tighten it. I'm not gonna crank it down and go full speed, but you can see it's tightening down real nice. Just about to there, you want it snug. You don't wanna over crank this cause you're gonna burn out that plastic insert and then you're gonna have to pull the whole thing out and redo it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. Super easy to do. That's about it. So now you can see it's nice and tight there. Um, creates a nice smooth surface for someone who needs to uh, step over it without stubbing their toes. So there we go. It's uh, all installed. It came out really nice. Again, the hard part is um, screwing into the concrete or drilling into the concrete. You're going to want to get one of these um, one of these bits because uh, regular bits will not screw in or drill into concrete. Once you get those in, again, I use the insert which um, expands and creates a nice uh, snug fit. And uh, it seemed to work out really well. Other people, um, Sometimes they try to use nails and hammer them in. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Some people just try to glue them down. I've seen that done before and it actually works pretty well. But um, in this case, since I'm on concrete and there's moisture and stuff, I'd rather just have a sure fit and I screwed it in. So it came out great.